My name is Linda Rutenberg. I'm a photographer, have been for about 25 years, and I'm here at Eden as artist in residence. I chose to come to Eden for a variety of reasons. First of all, because it was quite different from all the other gardens I was going to, but I really liked what it stood for, um, the educational element, and then when I stood at the top of the pit and looked at the structures, it really took my breath away the first time that I saw it. It's such an extraordinary idea and such an impossible feat. My objective in the exhibition was really to try to convey the spirit uh, and the feeling of being in the garden at night time. So I wanted, first of all, to uh, make the images, of, particularly of plants, larger than life. Because sometimes I feel like Alice in Wonderland walking around amongst the plants. My husband and I work on this together. Um, I'm the photographer, he's the lighting person. And we're a bit like nocturnal animals because we have to wait for the sun to go down before we begin working. We work with torches, camping torches, and we walk around uh, looking for interesting things to photograph that really talk about um, night and what it's all about in the biomes. For me, this is a very different uh, appreciation of the, um, of the biomes. I love it because I find it's, it's quite abstract. It's very Japanese looking. Um, and I mean, if you're not familiar with Eden and the structure of Eden, um, you're not quite sure what you're looking at. This almost looks like a road. Somehow it's the inner glow and the energy from inside the, the biomes that is really evident. People seem to have this impression that all the flowers close up at night time and that nothing happens at night. But in fact, it's a whole other world. It's a whole theater of show and sexuality. They are so beautiful. I mean, the structure of it and the texture of all of the petals in the center of it. And this one, actually, my husband found it. He said, you know, you, you, you have to take a picture of this beautiful flower. And it is, it's just, it was just wet uh, with the humidity and all of the shiny elements. Um, it just becomes this extraordinary sculptural piece. Um, and the fact that you can look right into the center of it, which would be a very hard thing to do in the garden itself. I don't really make any decisions as to what I'm going to photograph until I get in at night because everything appears quite differently at night time. I'll walk with my torch and I will explore. Once I find what I'm looking for, and it could be something like an unfurling leaf or a particular bloom, we will discuss the lighting that will be necessary to really bring the picture to light. Music is a very important element as well. Um, it's interesting that Peter Gabriel was actually instrumental in making the first contact for me with Tim. And so in some ways he's responsible for me being here and uh, he very graciously allowed me to use the music um, in the exhibition because of the fact that they work so well together. Uh, this one for me is a very special photograph because it's probably nature in its most simplistic form and um, I just find it to be so elegant, so um, balletic if I can say. It looks like a dancer. There's a sort of softness, there's, a, there's the energy upwards and then you just feel that little furl kind of pushing to open. And I don't think people really take the time to see things like that. Um, and so I really feel like, you know, it's my responsibility and sort of part of the gift that I've been given to be able to notice those kinds of things um, is to photograph this. And this is what my work is moved towards. It's just this very, 
very simple, very basic, um, but yet very beautiful uh, elements that are involved in the process of plants growing. I've really felt cocooned here, um, and in many ways, I guess that's what a residency is supposed to feel like. Um, it's been very productive for me. I've been photographing every day um, and editing and totally immersed in the photographic process. Oh, it's going to be very difficult for me to leave here.